One way to tackle a warming planet, a report in a prestigious science journal says plant more trees, billions more trees. Aha, the problem, mm. it takes a long time for trees to grow. Sarah Donchi is here with a possible solution. You know, that kind of is a problem, but in tonight's Project Earth Report, we take a look at a Bay Area startup that's figured out a way to turbocharge trees. The idea is to make them grow much faster mm. and to help with climate change. Nearly a third of the world's land is covered in trees. They suck in and store carbon dioxide and breathe out fresh oxygen, an exquisite balancing act. However, there's a looming problem. The cutting down, burning, and damaging of forests on a large-scale basis. Each year, billions of trees are harvested. Add to that the unchecked burning of fossil fuel, that's putting more climate warming CO2 in our atmosphere than Mother Nature can handle. We've thrown that, that system within our biosphere, which is in and of itself an ecosystem, we've thrown that system out of whack. One possible way to nudge it back on track is taking root inside this greenhouse on the peninsula. Rooms are packed with very special poplar trees. What we're trying to add to the picture of carbon capture is to utilize the natural power of plants. These young trees are bioengineered to help fight climate change. They'll grow bigger, faster, and store more CO2. The trees are produced by a Bay Area startup called Living Carbon. Living Carbon uses advanced biotech tools to improve the growth rate, carbon capture, and climate resilience of trees. The trees get their start in this lab located in Alameda County. Maddie Hall is the company's co-founder and CEO. Looks pretty good. Looks like Yu Min Tao is the chief science officer. They're beautiful. They're ready. To enhance photosynthesis, the scientists incorporated genes from other plants, including algae, into the poplar's DNA. Plants have been removing carbon for a very, very long time, for millions of years. We're combining engineered removal with nature-based solutions. See it for yourself. The trees on the left are from living carbon. Those on the right, planted at the same time, are standard trees. In a lab, the modified trees grew up to 53% faster in just four months. I was uh, super, super excited. Living carbon is now testing its modified trees outdoors on underused, damaged land, including a bottomland hardwood site in Georgia and an abandoned mine site in Ohio. And we specifically focus on planting those trees, not on land where trees are growing really well, but where there's been some sort of human disturbance. Living Carbon reports its poplars can capture up to 27% more carbon. It hopes to sell credits for carbon offsets. The feedback has been really positive. We've gotten people from over 100 countries reaching out to us wanting to buy trees. But there are critics. One environmental group calls the modified trees a growing threat and warns about unintended consequences. Living Carbon contends there are safeguards in place and that climate change is an urgent problem. And we should be trying every solution possible to mitigate climate change to give ourselves a chance at continuing to evolve as a species. So far, the startup has planted over 170,000 trees, hoping the power of its plants will take root and be part of a cool solution to a warming planet. What an interesting wow. concept, right? That's fascinating. Yeah, they're making it happen. The company's already raised $36 million. It's also getting support from the U.S. Department of Energy, as well as some Silicon Valley companies yeah. like Google and Facebook. They got a lot of seed money. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, she did not that. run that by me, but it was I, I'm good. I'm sorry. We didn't it run that good. by the lawyers.